Hello again and welcome to the Geek Tech Show. I'm sure you've missed me, all you guys. In today's episode of the Geek Tech Show, we are going to be checking out Penny Mail once again. And this is going to be the question and answer session, including actual proof of why the guy is not a real police officer. Well, let's start with the question and answer session. So, first question. They told me, the guy's not a cop. He's a sheriff officer. There's a sheriff on him. Guess what? Anybody can buy those equipment, gear, that says sheriff on you. Anyone can buy police gear in any shop on eBay. Anywhere on the internet and claim he is a cop. Is it legal? Of course it's not. Now, that said, Petty Mail is not doing anything illegal. Because what he is doing, he is not impersonating a cop. He is filming an actual show. If you are filming a show and you get filming permit, to create a movie, it is totally legal for you to do so. So, with that said, the guy can be anybody he wants. He can be the president, he can be a cop, he can be a sheriff. He can be absolutely anyone he wants to be. It is a free country. But, above all, it is not illegal for you to be a cop in a TV show, as long as you have a filming permit. And this is the way they create movies. Let's think about movies, for example. Anyone who plays a cop in movies has police gear on. Is he allowed to do so? Of course he can. It is part, it is part of filming a TV show. With filming permits, totally allowed. Next, next question, of course it is, well, if the guy is an actual cop or if he is not a cop, the question was, how come he's arresting people? He's arresting people, he's pu putting them in handcuffs, is this real? Definitely, it's not, it is all staged. The guys submit to him because it is part of the agreement that they made to be in the show. Now, one thing that is very interesting is he went, one of the episodes, he goes, he knocks on the guy's door, he gets in there, doesn't even identify what police station he is coming from, or he is saying that he is the sheriff's office. Well, you have to identify yourself. You have to say, what's your name? At least say the batch number and then what you're coming for. You can't just go in someone's house without any permission, without even a search warrant. You need a search warrant to get in someone's house in the United States. Now, once he gets all the way inside, this is a recent episode, he goes in there and he keeps on asking the guy what's his name. Like three different times he's asking the same guy, the same his name. What's your name? He will respond. Comes back again. What's your name again? What's your name again? <laughs> so it's getting ridiculous. Now, he goes in there to arrest the guy. And the guy is asking, what are you arresting me for? He says, you know what I'm arresting you for. I've been here like last week and I arrested you before. <laughs> but the, this is just ridiculous. If you're arresting somebody, you have to give them a reason. You can't just go about and arrest somebody without giving them a reason. If you're arresting somebody, even if it is for the hundredth time, most likely you're not going to arrest somebody for a hundred times, he's going to be in jail. But if you arrest him for the second time, most likely he is already not going to be out on bail after that. But most likely, even if he is, even if you're arresting him again, you constantly have to tell him why you're arresting the guy. You can't just go about, slap some handcuffs on somebody and say, well, I arrested you before so I can arrest you again. You know what you did. No, 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 no. You don't do that in the United States. Uh, totally against the law. You can't do that. Now, if you're impersonating a cop in a stage TV show like Penny Mail, at least make it realistic. Yes, it is a show, but still, make it more realistic. It's more fun, more engaging. Another fun thing is, always films at night. Now, he goes back to the same exact set, and he does the same exact thing over there. Now, you might ask, how come he's allowed to do it in that location, turn the, the special lights on and everything else? Well, they have a special village. Well, you can go ahead and do this. It's actually blocked off area. Well, you can film Hollywood movies over there. 
and there is a bunch of different sets that you can drive to and you can film things and it looks like the real deal. Since those sets are so familiar and they've been used in many different movies and those are special locations that are allowed for you to actually film those places, sometimes you will see Penny Mayo using the same places over and over and over again and it is and it does get pretty old. Interesting enough, it's always at night. He never has backup. The only backup he has is the same exact police officer who is not an actual police officer. And if you keep watching this, I'm going to put you even more evidence how come this show is totally staged. So the rest of this video, I'm going to give you actual proof why the guy is not a real bounty hunter or a policeman. This is just a show. Now, on the other hand, I can't 100% prove to you that this guy was never a bounty hunter or if he actually applied to become a policeman. What I can show you is that this is an actual show. So let's go ahead and take a look right here on the bottom of this screen. It says right there, this video is not intended for training, education or any other purpose. Do not attempt any of the activities you see on the show. He even admits the whole thing is a show. Now you definitely want to have real proof of petty mail. And of course, let me show you what I mean. So his name, petty mail, is not his actual name. I did some research and on LinkedIn, I was able to find his actual name, which is Patrick Tomley. And that's after extensive research. So he lives right now in the Los Angeles area and he is a CEO and founder of Tomley Corporation. When you press on his name, you see the following. You see him next to a jet right there. And it says the creator of Petty Mayo. And here it says about him, I turn passions into profits. It is a fancy way of saying I make a living developing unique concepts. In my spare time, I paraglide. And what did we hear that before? Subdive, skydive, and pretty much do anything else that actually is fast and cranks up your adrenaline otherwise creating the whole entire show over there and let's take a look at his experience CEO and founder of Tamri Corporation from 2003 to right now which is 15 years specialized in creative marketing and campaign development and he used to be another company which was uh, Zambia Apocalypse and this was another show and of course, Airsoft, some kind of other company as well. Both of them in Massachusetts. Now, this guy himself, you can't see much in his picture right here. But this definitely has the tattoo trademark. And we know all about this famous tattoo of Petty Mayo. He does have a tattoo. Now, if this is not enough and you think, hey, uh, this guy could be actually a fake dude, he's not the real dude, he just created this fake LinkedIn profile. Well, let's take a look more research. And looking up this specific company, I found the following, this listing, Cop Style Fox Reality Show. And it's called You Get Baited, Baited? Seeking creative people with relating personalities and background to play criminals for a bounty hunter. Hey, that sounds a little familiar. Coordinating state. This is a Fox reality cop style show featuring criminals being captured and it is for Amazon and YouTube. Ongoing filming in the Los Angeles area. Compensation is 50 bucks right here. So I was able to find it by researching this specific company. Moreover, when I went to the actual website of Tamri Company, this is the most important thing. By going to actual website here, I was able to go into and find the following. Patrick Thomas, and that is his name right here. He's the executive producer and you can see the tattoos right here and his face. Benjamin Baker, this is director of business development. And here is his girlfriend and you can see her in some of the episodes she's the one who does the radios as well and if you do listen to petty mayo pranks you'll be able to see her inside the pranks themselves including the uber prank so that is where we press on meet the team 
So there you have it, the actual proof of penny mail, why this is actually a show, not an actual real footage of the real deal. There is so many different comments that people actually ask me and I can't get to every single one of those. But one thing for you to keep in mind is that yes, the show is not real. Yes, the whole show is staged. It is entertaining. I enjoy watching it. You enjoy watching it as well. I don't hate the guy, but he's not a real police officer. That's it. End of case. Case closed. That's right. So with that said, and that in mind, if you have any additional questions, feel free to smash the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this Geek Tech show. If you hate this show, uh, smash the thumbs down button. Make sure, regardless, if you smash the thumbs down button, post a comment right down below. Tell me why this show sucks. If you love it, you wanna show your support, respond to all the haters on the, on the bottom right down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next Geek Tech show. Well, you don't know what is the next video that we are going to be showing next on this channel. That being said, the show itself is awesome and I am not going to in any way discredit the actual show. I love the show. Thank you for listening to me and I hope you enjoy this.